to my YouTube channel where every episode I take a physics topic and hopefully explain it in a really simple and understandable way. Now some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts, but most I'm going to try and tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case, I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. Today's fun physics fact episode asks the question, how do roller coasters actually work? Well, we're about to find out! It's all to do with potential energy. Potential energy is the energy stored in an object due to its position or arrangement. So like with a bow and arrow, when the bow is in its usual position so it's not drawn back, there will be no energy stored in it. But as soon as the bow is pulled back from its equilibrium position, did someone call Hawkeye? The bow is now able to store energy that we call potential energy. An easy way to think of it is that it's energy that has the potential to do work. What's another example? So when a spring is in its equilibrium position, it won't have any energy stored in it. But if I grab that spring and I compress it, it will have stored potential energy that will stay there until the spring is released. Well, the same thing happens on a roller coaster. Now there are different types of potential energy, but on a roller coaster, we store gravitational potential energy. Have you ever noticed that at the beginning of the ride, they always crank you up first? It's the worst, most nerve-wracking bit. Anyways, they don't just do this to get you up nice and high. No, they have to start you on the ground and crank you up in order to gain gravitational potential energy. Now, gravitational potential energy, or GPE, is the energy in an object that's held in a vertical position due to the force of gravity that's working to try pull it down. So if I lift this off the ground, it now has GPE stored because work has been done by me in order to lift it against the force of gravity. This work done energy is transferred to the object and stored as GPE. So the roller coaster carts get cranked up by this mechanism like a pulley system. So the work done by the pulley system gets transferred to the carts and stored as GPE. Now I know it's a fun episode, but I just want to tell you the equation for GPE. It's mass times the gravitational acceleration times height. There, that's it. So when you get to the top of the cranking and you start teetering over the edge, this is the height you would use for the equation. And you'd use the mass of all of the carts plus if there are any people in them, and you would use 9.81 meters per second squared for the gravitational constant. Oh, and the unit for energy is joules. Okay, so you're at the top and you are praying for your life. The roller coaster now has stored GPE. So when you get to the top, this potential energy is transferred to kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is the energy that an object possesses due to its motion. So any moving object will have kinetic energy. Let's take our examples from earlier. When we pull back the bow and arrow, this gains potential energy. So when the arrow is released, this stored potential energy is transferred to kinetic energy and the arrow goes flying. And with the spring, I'm compressing it, having stored potential energy. So when I release it, it springs out and flies off. This is because the potential energy has been transferred to kinetic energy. So when we're at the top of our roller coaster with lots of built up potential energy and we begin to slide forward, this is converted to kinetic energy and we move. As the roller coaster moves down and we gain the speed, kinetic energy is generated. So it's kind of like the opposite to GPE. So whereas the maximum GPE is generated at the top of the coaster, the maximum kinetic energy is achieved at the bottom of the tracks. So on a roller coaster, you're transferring between GPE and kinetic energy the whole time. Kinetic energy depends on the mass and the speed of the object. So the equation is half of the mass times the velocity squared. So the quicker the coaster is going, the more kinetic energy it will have. And the last thing you need to know is that because energy is always conserved, the gravitational potential energy at the top 
will be equal to the kinetic energy at the bottom. So yeah, due to the conservation of energy, GPE equals KE, and therefore MGH equals half MV squared. There will be lots of intricate equations involved in designing a roller coaster to take into account the peaks and the troughs, the mass of the carts, plus the daredevil sitting in them. Everything will have to be worked out perfectly to ensure we have enough energy to get round and round that loop, up that hill or down that dip. Thank you for listening! I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I will try to do a video for you.